Hey guys, Brett Weiss here. I'm at the brand new Tom Rift Arcade in Bedford, Texas, which is a suburb of Dallas and Fort Worth. It's right between, if you're ever in the Dallas, Fort Worth area, you guys have got to try this out. It's a sister arcade to Electric Starship, which is in Haltom City, not too far from here, maybe a half an hour drive, 20 minutes on a good day. Anyway, Tom Rift Arcade, it's a free play arcade. They've got arcades, pinballs, They've got food. Let's go inside and check out this brand new arcade. And guess what, guys? It is co-owned by the 8-Bit Guy, the popular YouTuber that has almost a million and a half subs on YouTube. Let's check it out. They've got some great games, including some of my favorites. All right, here we go. Tom Rift Arcade. Closed Monday and Tuesday, that makes sense. 21 after 8, I like that. That way you can get some grown-up time. Without little kids running around. But it is kid-friendly. They've got lots of features for kids. Got a nice snack bar. They do serve alcoholic beverages. All kinds of different hot dogs. Like that. Let's go over here and see some of the bigger machines. Mortal Kombat 1. This is a fantastic game. Absolutely love it. So very cool. Nice golf sim here with trackball control. Love that. Assault, pretty obscure Atari game, one you don't see every day. Awesome. Zaxxon, super classic Sega shooter. Love that. When it came out, the graphics were absolutely mind blowing for the time. Xenophobe, have you guys played the two player? I believe it was on the NES, the port. Joust, excellent, my son. It's one of the few games I can still beat my son out. Rally X, loved playing this on the at Malibu Grand Prix back in the day. Very hard maze racer. Tempest, classic tube shooter, as they call it. Off-road, classic. I mean, there's some great games here, including Dig Dug, one of my favorite games of all time, along with Mr. Do, of course. Gorf is amazing. Played that for the very first time at Treasure City. Uh, Kmart top place back in the day, Karate Champ. A lot of you guys played the NES port of that one. Revolution X, Music is the Weapon. A fairly early music-based game as far as uh, having a rock band. Journey was before that, but still pretty early. Altered Beast, amazing. A lot of you guys know that from the uh, pack-in with the Sega Genesis, at least the first pack-in and before Sonic the Hedgehog took over. Simpsons, great beat-em-up from Konami, along with X-Men, two of the greatest beat-em-ups. Mortal Kombat 2, Double Axle, there's an obscure one. How many of you have heard of Double Axle? Let me know in the comments. Battle Shark, another obscurity, this one from Taito, as well as Double Axe. Very cool, it's not often I see a Taito game I haven't played either at the arcades or on a home collection. It's very loud in this arcade. X-Men, another great four-player beat-em-up. Hydro Thunder. Racing games are real popular at arcades, obviously. Pitfall 2, The Lost Caverns Arcade Cab. Pretty sweet. Tetris, my daughter's favorite arcade game of all time. Missile Command, very tough Cold War era shooter. Ninja Turtles, another great uh, fighting game. Beat-em-up, actually, love it. Asteroids Deluxe, amazing. Stargate, the sequel to Defender. Kicks, holy cow, love that game on the Atari 5200, amazing port. Man, this place is rocking. This is the very first day they're open. Mario Kart DX, great multiplayer Mario Kart game. Love that one, and check it out, guys. They've even got some computer games set up. Love that. Nice little touch, you know, with the 8-bit guy here heavily into computers that uh that's a nice touch awesome stuff and they've got some more consoles set up including a genesis and an atari 2600 let's see what's on the other side super nintendo very cool and of course an nes nice row of arcade cabs here including primal rage Tron, one of my favorite games of all time, of course, as you guys well know. Great light gun shooter, Carnival. Another great light gun shooter. 
some of these games are set up some, uh, in terms of genre. Like there's a great Pac-Man row over here. I'll show you guys in a little bit. Gauntlet Dark Legacy. I like this game even more than the original Gauntlet. Amazing. Aliens. Tubin. A lot of you guys knew about this game from the NES port. Road Blasters. I love when this game finally came to, not finally, it wasn't that long after, but it came to the Genesis and NES and I didn't have to spend a million quarters. Shinobi. Everybody Sega fans love Shinobi. Shinobi and some Golden Axe. Die Hard Arcade. Don't see the arcade version of that one very often. I've got the Saturn one. Ninja Gaiden, awesome. All right. This game didn't make the line of Pac-Man games, but I'll show you that here in a second. Popeye, another classic, along with Punch-Out, Play Choice 10, the mark of a great arcade, at least one mark. Mario Brothers, probably my favorite two-player game of all time. Got some uh, excellent Nintendo and Bally Midway here with Burger Time. I like that it's paired with Donkey Kong, two of the greatest climbing games slash non-scrolling platformers of all time. Then this amazing Pac-Man row, including Baby Pac-Man, which has been missing from Electric Starships for some time now. So I'm glad they have it at Time Rift because that's my favorite of the Pac-Man games. And Super Pac-Man is my second favorite. Miss Pac-Man used to be my favorite, but I kind of got burned out. Gauntlet 2, awesome sauce. Xevious, one of the really early vertical scrolling shooters. My wife's favorite game, Centipede. Atari Force Liberator, another rare Atari game. That's awesome. Way to go, Time Rift Arcade. Mr. Do, my favorite game of all time. As I've mentioned many times, Moon Patrol. Played the heck out of the 5200 version. Ah, oh, Wizard of War. Had a great port on the Bally Astrocade known as Incredible Wizard. 1942, one of the really iconic vertical scrollers of the 80s. Another great vertical scroller in Commando and Omega Race, another title you don't see that often. Love the ColecoVision port, which was quite a bit different, but, but interesting in its own right. Love Tekken 5. Retro Raccoons. That's interesting. Don't know what that is. A little bowling sim here. NFL Blitz 2000 Gold Edition featuring the voice of Tim Kitzrow. Rampage World Tour designed by Brian F. Collin. Sunset Riders, a tough game to find the port on the SNES and Genesis, but man, a fantastic Contra-like game set in the Old West. NBA Hang Time. Of all the sports, you guys know that basketball is my favorite. Every good arcade needs a strenuous workout on air hockey. And of course, they've got a great row of pinballs here. Several rows, as a matter of fact. Been playing a lot of Stranger Things lately. I've never played Mick, Rick and Morty. I'll have to try that one out. Classic lineup here, including Batman. Man, the 1989 film, I just could not wait for that to come out. And I could not believe how good The Mandalorian was, you know, when I watched it on uh, streaming. Great series. Some of the best Star Wars outside of the first three films. Next Generation, when it premiered in 1987, I was a little skeptical because I was a big original series fan, but I grew to absolutely love it, especially with the third and fourth seasons. And who does not love Elvira? House of the Dead 3, I'm working on my 100 greatest book, the next one in the series. House of the Dead 3, the, the port for home consoles, just for the Xbox, just barely missed the cut. I hated to leave it out, but man, I could only pick 100. Spy Hunter, very difficult game, for me at least. Zabots, pretty obscure Atari game. Robotron, John Hancock's favorite game of all time, at least the 7800 version. Every arcade has to have Galaga, of course. Qbert is amazing, and check it out. The owner, the co-owner of the Time Rift Arcade, the 8-Bit Guy. Do you mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Yeah, so it's really loud in here, but if you could scream at me, that would be awesome. So very briefly, how did this arcade come about and how did you get involved? Oh gosh, it came about actually almost three years ago when we did the Pesky Robots arcade. I don't know if you saw it over there. Yeah, Pesky Robots, so, you did an arcade version of your homebrew. Yeah, yeah so when we brought that to the Electric Starship arcade, 
uh, we just started becoming friends with the owner there. And yeah. We just started talking about possibly o opening another location. So we all chipped in and made an agreement to do that. And this is the fruit of that uh, that agreement now emerging almost three years later. Excellent. Mike over at Electric Starship is a great guy. I've been friends with him a good while now. And this is actually your first day to open, or did you have some kind of preview? We had a soft opening on Saturday with friends and family, but this is the first real day. We've only been open a couple of hours, actually. Excellent. Well, I was very glad to see some of my favorite classics like Robotron, Mr. Do, Qbert, so great, and of course, Baby Pac-Man. Now, Baby Pac-Man was at Electric Starship. Is this the same one? No, no, this is a different one. This is the one I did a restoration video on uh, a few months ago. Excellent. So guys, check out Time Rift Arcade in Bedford, Texas. Check out Electric Starship in Haltom City. And check out the 8-Bit Guy on YouTube, which you've probably already done. Got a massive channel. Uh, anyway, guys, thanks a lot. Uh, Mr. 8-Bit Guy, appreciate it. Incredible arcade. So guys, we're almost through with this video, so let's wrap it up. All right, here we go, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think of Time Rift Arcade. How awesome is this? It's a really cool arcade in the bedroom community, and it's about halfway between my house and work, so I love the convenience of that. That's incredibly cool. And here's Attack of the Petsy Robots. I don't know how to say that. Petsy Robots that 8-Bit Guy mentioned the arcade version of his homebrew. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for liking this video. And thank you for watching this video. We will talk to you later.